Control Leave-In Lotions Review. I'm using the sample size as always and I'm just going to show you I use quite a liberal amount on the front section of my hair. It's quite slimy and thin but actually it's very easy to apply um, and it absorbs really quickly into the hair. So I like that about it. I applied it from root to tip of the hair and massaged it in and then I finger detangled in sections as always. This is just to show how easy finger detangling process was. Finally, I made some flat twists in the sections and set it for the night. Just to show you what my hair looked like after um, I've allowed it to dry in this flat twist. Um, so the hair is still quite bouncy and soft. Um, and I'm just letting you see what the definition looks like. It's still quite shiny. Mm -hmm. The hair is like, it shrinks up quite a bit, but not like as much as it does usually. So it does shrink up, but it still holds the style quite well. And it stretches and falls back into the style. And it's nice and feels soft. So it went on smooth, but it had that like, leftover feeling as I put it on when my hair was wet um, of like how my hair always feels when there's a silicone in there which is that it's smooth it's actually quite easy to tangle my hair with my fingers um, so it adds a bit of slip to it but it just still had that filmy um, feel to it um, but it does what it says which is that it's um, see there's not much frizz in this there's only a little bit of frizz up there, or separated, but not much in the way of frizz. The ends will do what they want to do, but it's held it quite well, actually. It's given quite good um, twists. So I guess it would be quite good if you want to use it as a twisting cream, because I find that the twists look nice and juicy and plump, but I personally wouldn't jump on it because of the silicone in it, because of how it felt in my hair. It was just that silicone feel that I didn't like. Um, you know, that I would get build up very easily if I used this more than once or twice in a two week period even. Um, and I wouldn't want to have that feeling all over my hair. Um, so for me, I wouldn't use it as a regular. But actually, if you're someone who's okay with silicones and your hair hasn't done that uh, silicone thing, which my hair did early in my transition, and basically can tell whenever there's a silicone in a product, um, then I'd say go ahead and use it because it's good for, like, as a leave-in, you can still use it as a kind of styling cream, and whilst you're using it, you can still detangle your hair and you won't be doing too much damage, um, kind of making it easier for you to manage your hair, actually. So, not bad. Right. See you later.